my next video for the night. This is the 2023 Yonex V-Core 100. You got buck cap up. Yes, that's how buck cap goes up. It will say Yonex. V-Core will be upside down on the opposite side. Um, with buck cap up, the larger blue piece, blue uh, paint, will be on the right hand side. And the small blue paint will be on the left hand side. So we're going to mount this, buck cap up. We are stringing this with more string it with. This is Polytor Pro 17 gauge Polytor Pro at 56 in the mains and 54 in the crosses. We're going to start in the throat. We're going to do three pulls on this side. We're going to thread the next two. Just kind of get them out of the way, out of the way, and they're also ready to be pulled. We're going to do six pulls on this side. thread the seventh main we're going to skip grommet number seven in the throat but not in the head we're going to complete this side Don't forget to skip grommet number seven in the throat. Do not skip anything in the head yet. Now we are going to skip grommet number eight in the head and number nine in the throat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we also did our knot tension. We are going to tie off on the second main string, which should be the eighth grommet. Remember to skip grommet number eight in the head. 
and grommet number nine in the throat. We have our knot tension. Again, we're going to tie off on second main string, which is grommet number eight. Again, these are at 54 pounds. We're going to start the second cross, which is outside of the main strings. We're going to start over the outside main string. We should finish under outside main string, opposite side. Come back and do number one. We should start under the second main string. Finish over second main string on the opposite side. Put your starting clamp on. And we will start under the outside main string with the third cross. tension on the second cross. So we get the fan in the string, so you don't get little friction burns. Starting under this outside main, we cross and you finish over the outside main opposite side. Now we're going to do our knot tension. We're going to pull our knot tension on the first cross. We're going to tie off on the one, two, three, four, five, six grommet, which is the third main string. If you're doing a hybrid, you can always come down here and tie it off on the second cross. Or you can tie here, you know, you do what you want. It's your racket, your stringing. under outside main we have a cross finish over outside main so I had somebody ask me a question why in an older video why is pulling 15 pounds of knot tension. There's a whole story there. When I had the gamma machine, they would only pull 10 pounds, I believe. So I just did it, uh, whatever, thing, you just hit the knot button and it added like uh, 10 pounds or 10%, maybe it was 10%, I can't remember. I think 10%. And uh, well, that's what I always used. And when I got these machines, first machine over there. And you can customize what you do for your knot tension. I was messing with it and I fully intended to set it to 10%. But I was messing with it and I set it to 15 as I was messing with it. I had it on 15%. And then 
something drew me away. I don't remember what. It's several years ago. And I walked away. I came back, started messing with it, and it was just on 15 percent. So from then on, I did 15 percent. Uh, I know several schools in the Big 12, their stringers, are adding 20%, which I think is pretty standard for a lot of pro tournaments. So nowadays I add 20%, since my main stringing base on this for the university. That way when they're traveling around to other Big 12 schools, we're all pretty consistent. If your machine only has a function to go into 10 percent I would say that is absolutely fine because that is probably what most people around the country do is 10 percent and so if you have people you stream for who travel odds are they would get more consistent at 10 percent than anything else because that is what most machines or at least electronic machines will do and again, we're still going under the first cross or the first main, finishing over. I wish I was smart enough to start like a Facebook group just for all D1 stringers, so we could all just kind of. Share ideas, uh, standardized pricing and stringing techniques and whatnot. And that would be kind of nice, but it'd be hard. A lot of schools just use students or contractors. Obviously, our school here uses a contractor, i.e., me. Again, we start under the outside main. Finish over outside main, outside side. This is our last cross before we get to our skip. There's some strings on the outside here. I want to go underneath. We're going to start over the second main string. And you will finish under second main string opposite side. Not tension. I came out underneath the string over here, so I want to go underneath the other string, and we are going to start under the third main string. Leave those across however you do it. And we will finish over third main string here. I also over here. I started this string underneath the, the mains that cross over here, so I want this one to come out underneath. Just so you know you want to look sharp. We are going to tie off on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth grommet, which is the second cross string from the bottom. tie off somewhere else, you tie off somewhere else. So 
somebody else is here. Drop off the rack. Bring out your strings. Look down my crosses. Twenty twenty three Yonex V Core one hundred.